Hello guys, um, welcome to this channel. Channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about the hidden or secret roofing um, type um, in Ghana, mostly in Ghana. Um, when there's a new trend, most people want to go for it. And this, what you see your shot, your shot here, is a second roofing type where the roofing is hidden from from viewers or from people when looking when looking at the building from afar or from downstairs so you don't see the sick um, the sheet outside all you see this to the corners of the building yeah so i'll talk about the pros and cons and um, whether it's worth it um what you what you tend to gain when you do this kind of proofing the cost effective what are the problems associated with this kind of proofing and i'll give my verdict on whether i will recommend people to do this type of proofing and i must say that there are different kinds of proofing type of secret roofing some um you don't have all you don't have okay you before i get in i mean i i want to show you from how we started to get to this stage of the project so i'll show you where i started where we started with the construction of the gutters you with this kind of roofing you need to construct gutters concrete gutters and to construct the concrete gutters you need your iron rods so in your shot you see iron rods here in your shot you see iron rods here then you make, you make your mixing of mortar what no mortar concrete so you you, you do your iron rods work you, you put your concrete on it and come and get this solid structure that you see down here so that is this the creation of the gutter the base of the gutter that's the platform then after the construction of that platform then you can either use your blocks to create to finer to make a finer gutter for it and what you have to take notice of that this gutter should be quite deep so that there will not be a backflow of water into your building like you having it overflow so it should be kind of deep that water can flow inside so that you don't have water flowing back as i said so this is a kind of deep gutter that you have here um yeah so here you have the workers working on it and with this type of project we have gutters all around the four sides of the building and so you have gutters all around the four sides of the building so after the gutters were done with what we did was to towel inside of the gutters um, it is believed that no matter how solid your concrete work is water will be able to pass through so you have some leakages if you don't towel or if you don't have something to line inside your gutter with time it will, it will, it will leak that is what it is believed so we had to towel inside the gutter to, to prevent it from leakages future leakages so here after we, we were done with all this then we did the framework the wooden work for the sheets so here you see carpentry work which is ongoing that's after the framework so this is a nice framework um wooden work that was done by our carpenters and i must say i love it i love it so in the gutter you see all the size of the gutters are towed all the size of the gutters are towed here in order to aid the flow of water so that water doesn't become stagnant in the in the gutter in the concrete gutter if water becomes stagnant in the concrete gutter with time it weakens and that is not what you want so we did the tiling so that when water rains there will be smooth movements of water to the outlet yeah, so in your view on your shots we have that so with other concrete uh, hidden roofing type we have you can have one side in um, having just only the gutter you can have two sides having the gutter or with this type we have all the four sides having the gutter i mean it adds to the expense of the building you can slant it have one side i think um you see so many things a better way that i would have gone about it so finally we root so 
to look in this world it was such a beautiful work that, that was done i love it um so here we have our spaces for poly tanks if you have poly tanks all those side all those spaces wet out in order to take care of leakages all those places wet out in order to take care of leakages so you know in short that is hidden roofing for you but then um is it worth it can you do your conventional roofing like the one you see on the left and and i from my personal perspective i think that if you are doing a secret roofing of this magnitude which is so big i would advise that you do the gutter mark on one side so um you don't have all the gutters on all the four corners one is expensive you have to do the concrete work you have to do your iron rods in the iron rods is money on all the four sides the woodwork for all the four sides is money the concrete for all the four sides is money it's cost and it's kind of expensive and even the tiling of all the four sides is expensive so if you do something like the one you have in your shorts on the right hand right on the right side it's cost effective i mean um that is what i would say it's cost effective because then you don't have to spend money on all the four sides and you get a better um, value for money all those and you tend to save money with this because you don't you are not heaving your sheets you're not heaving your roofing where you have to spend more on the wood the sheets but then i i think the expenses that you incur in doing the gutter and tiling and all that it comes back to adding to the cost of the sheets and the um, and the woodwork so that is my view on this you know hidden roofing i think it has come to stay but the biggest problem with hidden roofing as we see here is leakage it's leakage and for me for you to prevent leakage you have to minimize the surface area where you have the gutters and in my view if you do the gutter at one side and you slant it it's better so that you have a small surface area if there should be a leakage and you can work on it or choose not to have gutter on it at all like the one you see so that is my take on security subscribe thank you for watching